Hello, hello! Happy Friday, party people! First, I would like to thank everyone who left kind words regarding my acting skills in yesterday's skit. I may have not gone to Juilliard, and I may have not won any awards, but after yesterday, there's no doubt I'm in the running for something. I'm sure I'll be notified by the Academy soon about tons of nominations. Stay tuned. Today we're going to be continuing the back and forth between Amber Lynn and Destiny. Now we're going in order. Amber fired up the webcam and then Destiny made hamburgers and clapped back and now Amber decided to go live a second time. That is the one that we're covering right now. So looking at Amber Lynn's little mini series here, part one was the four hour live stream I did on Tuesday titled something like We Have to Talk. The one we're doing now is called We Have to Talk Some More and then the part three of the series is the 45 minute live stream from yesterday called There's Even More to Talk About. About. <laughs> okay, so truly an exciting time to be alive, let me tell you. For today's crunchy continuation, you will need citizenship in North Korea, a copy of your favorite poem, and screenshots from an ex partner. Time to grow up because we are maturing our way back into the Amberverse. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How y'all doing? I was waiting for people to like reply back to me. <laughs> How y'all doing? Uh, there's no stain. That's what a Hoover's for. Um, hi, you know who will do that too? When Chantal comes on live stream, she'll wait for people to talk in the chat and say hello or send a super chat or something. And sometimes it, it's gotten to the point where Foodie Booty's views have gotten so bad that she can't even do that anymore. Because if she were to wait around for the chat to pick up and everything, it, it, it just won't. I mean, I think that there was one point in one stream where she came on and was waiting for people to interact in the chat and everything and like a good five minutes went by i kid you not <laughs> miss Lindsay, how are but you? but i mean i think amber amber no amber, i mean we talk about like the crown of girl world and everything i mean chantal may have had it briefly during her natter season and everything but as far as i'm concerned amber lynn has had that crown for a while now do i meditate i do not feline does though She actually uh, meditated today. Oh my God. I even have slow mode on. So I don't think Confucius and the Buddha combined could bring peace to that apartment. I could be wrong though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's very serene and there's a sense of tranquility in that apartment behind the scenes. <laughs> or is it a lot of, uh, Wavy, can you give me another Diet Coke? Can you bring me the remote? <sighs> the chat be moving. The chat be moving. Oh my God, Lucy. What's up? You're wearing camo. I can hardly see you. Okay. Cute, cute. I love this dress. I don't know what it is. It like does something for me. It's super cozy. Um, yeah, I did my eyebrows a little more in your face to um winning the crown over beauty beauty definitely not like we have our own separate crown she does her i do me um when will we see another eat with me i'm not sure i'm not sure Amber, when are we going to see this aspect of your show that would consider a little bit of time planning and consideration? Amber's response? Oh, I don't I don't know. <laughs> Did you really walk home when Destiny left you at Walmart? Yes, I started to. Um, I, I think that story is so like the fact that it was 1 a.m. and you left your partner at Walmart at 1 a.m. Like is Well, she said that she couldn't find you. So, I mean, 
you guys and what what does one a.m. really matter if you guys were consistently going to Walmart really late at night? I mean, if you guys worked during the day or night shift or whatever, and then you got off at two a.m. I mean, that's like your afternoon. So, oh, it was one a.m. I mean, you guys were up anyway. And I mean, if you got in the motorized scooter and scooted off where she couldn't find you, I mean. Yeah, I don't think that she should have left Walmart and went home and took a shower like she did. But at the same time, like, what are you doing zooming off? So, like, red flag, red flag, red flag. And all while, she's still talking to her ex behind my back. No wonder why she called me Pookie, because she was talking to Pookie behind my back. We can, we will continue to see this in this live stream, the next live stream, and I would bet on my life any future live stream that Amber Lynn chooses to do where she addresses Destiny drama. She now has ammunition in her hands here with the whole Destiny's a cheater thing. So regardless of what Destiny says in the future from now on, it's going to be, well, you're a cheater. You're a nasty person. You're a bad person. That's going to be really her trump card. So, I mean, every everything is going to come back to square one. Well, you're, you're a cheater. <laughs> because some people will see that and they'll think, okay, yeah, nasty. I hate cheaters. And so Amberlynn knows that she's got destiny with that. So anything that she says, it can come back to Amberlynn pulling out that card. So funny. Yes, you can ask questions about Destiny. This isn't going to be like a ongoing situation type deal. Um, I just feel like it's important that I'm able to actually... Wait, she said it's not an ongoing situation type deal, but the name of the first live stream was We Need to Talk. The name of this one is There's More We Need to Talk About. And then she did another one yesterday called Let's Continue the Conversation. But it's not going to be an ongoing situation type deal. <laughs> Kind of sounds like a, it's a little mini series to me, girl. I had my 11th therapy today. So hello, hello. Um, and I talked to my therapist about this and he agrees that I should be able to share my side and my story. And I agree. <laughs> the, the therapist told Amber Lynn to come on YouTube live stream and fight destiny back. <laughs> Krista said that would be an immediate breakup for me. Yeah, the whole situation is so, but yeah, I'm in the wrong. That's so funny. I mean, in regard to Code Red, yeah. Um, congratulations on the ongoing therapy. Thank you. I am so proud. I am like beyond proud of myself because it's like, I don't go in there with like, oh, I'm just going to like half-ass it today. I always give my all and I give my full self to the situation. And um, yeah, I love that. Why did she leave me at Walmart? Because, okay, so there was a, um, I, I'm pretty sure it was a Subway, um, a Subway or a Burger King. I don't know. Um, it was like inside of the Walmart and she called me Pookie. And that really upset me because like my gut and my intuition is always right. And it just made me feel really uncomfortable that she did that. And Amber Lynn's gut and intuition are always right. Um, well, I mean, she does claim to be the queen of intuition. This whole intuitive eating thing, just going off of the vibes. I remember at one point after um, she wasn't getting cancer checkups or whatever, after she was declared cancer free and everything, and her response to one of the things on the Q and A when someone asked, "Girl, are you, are you gonna go in for a checkup? Like, you know, do you ever follow up or anything with the oncologist?" And her response to it was, "I know my body. I know that I don't have it right now." So Amber Lynn trusts in herself and the way that she feels a lot, which is kind of scary for someone that tells us pretty frequently that she has panic and anxiety symptoms. I later found out that's because she was still talking to her ex behind my back. She was re-downloading and downloading an app to talk to her ex behind my back. So anyways. See, I mean, now we're talking about why Destiny 
left Amber at Walmart, but Amber Lynn is talking about cheating, 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 Pookie, the other girl from California. Everything is always going to go back to square one. She's a cheater. She called me Pookie and I was upset by it. So I, I didn't want to be in her presence. So I actually went and sat down in the subway and I was just trying to calm down because it upset me. Like I have every right to feel upset. Like don't gaslight me. Don't invalidate my feelings. I was upset. I needed to breathe. And she said she couldn't find me, but yet I was sitting right in front of the entrance in the exit of Walmart. She is a joke. She is a lie. And well, here's the thing about Walmart though. Here's what she may not remember or just a convenient detail that she's leaving out from this. Some Walmarts have multiple entrances. You can go in through grocery or you can go in through pharmacy. So if Amber Lynn and Destiny, for example, both entered Walmart through grocery and that subway was on the exit side of pharmacy, Destiny may have left through the exit of grocery, went out to her car, and Amber Lynn's saying, oh, well, I was by the exit. Why didn't you see me? So some, if not most, Walmarts have multiple entrances like that. And I know what she's talking about. The little restaurant when you first walk into Walmart. Little restaurant. I mean, it's usually like a McDonald's or like, I think that the local one here is like Charlie's cheesesteaks or something like that. Um, but she's saying the Walmart they were at was Subway. So it's very possible that there might have been a mix up with the two different entrances and everything. And just because you were sitting in the Subway that was attached to the exit and everything, that doesn't mean that she saw you. I mean, it's not like, I, I don't know. You would have to like, kind of have this image in your head of like where these little restaurants are positioned to the entrance of Walmart and everything. Basically what I'm trying to say is if you're sitting in there, that doesn't mean that you're seeing and, you know, observing everyone that enters and leaves Walmart. So for Amber Lynn to say here, oh, well, she should have saw me. I don't, I don't know why she didn't see me. Mm multiple entrances and just because you were in that subway in the front of the store that doesn't guarantee that destiny saw you i mean just because you were near the entrance doesn't mean that you were within eyesight yeah so um So then I think it was a Burger King. It was either a Burger King or a Subway. I don't remember which one it was, but I do. See, and she doesn't even remember which one it was. So how are you going to tell me that you know for a fact that you guys both came in through grocery, left through grocery, when there very well could have been a pharmacy entrance that had some type of restaurant in it? So if the details are blurry enough for you not even to remember if it was a Burger King or a Subway, I don't think that this is a foolproof thing where she can say, oh, you know, we only went in one entrance and left through one entrance because Walmart has those dual entrances like that, pharmacy and grocery. <laughs> Should I say it again? Pharmacy entrance and grocery entrance. <laughs> do you remember them mopping their floors? I do remember that. Because I was just sitting there watching, watching it happen. My outfit's weird. Thank you. And another thing. If she's saying, oh, well, Destiny didn't see me when she left Walmart to go take a shower and everything. So you're saying it's her fault for not noticing you sitting in Subway. But on the same token, Amber, you didn't see Destiny walk out. So how can you blame her for not seeing you when you didn't see her leave? I love being weird. <laughs> Um, I was a hardcore hater, but then realized that you are a normal person who makes mistakes. People really think you should be perfect. Thank you so much for the super chat and so much for having common sense. <laughs> we all make mistakes. We all do things, um, that we either regret or we learn from. Um, if someone left me for getting uncomfortable about saying something, you know, would get, get to me like that. I'd be so hurt. Oh, I was for sure hurt. Um, and when I realized that she left, I ended up walking home and it was nighttime and I was about, I would say about halfway home, uh, maybe a little further. And she ended up picking me up. 
So. That was so that she could position herself in the victim point of view. Because had she just waited at Walmart, Destiny said that she went home, took... Which, it's it's weird. I understand. The details are weird and everything. I don't think that Destiny should have left and went home and took a shower. But she went home, took a shower, and then went back to get Amber Lynn. I mean, the fact that Amber Lynn left and walked home and everything in the middle of the night, I mean, it, it was for dramatics. It was so that she could have something against Destiny in the future. It's like, oh, well, you left poor little old me at Walmart, and I had to walk home in the middle of the night. Woe is me. She knew what she was doing. She could have waited for a ride. And you know what? Didn't Amber tell us a story from... A really long time ago where she was like 30 minutes away from home. Remind me in the comments if you remember what story this is specifically. But Amber Amber Lynn was like, I don't know, 30 minutes away or something. And she had the wherewithal to go up to a police officer and say, hey, could you drive me home? It, it, I, I mean, really? You're at Walmart. I mean, I think that it's within reason for you to maybe have that same option. Ask for a ride home from a cop. So, I mean, if she had the wherewithal to do it there, why didn't you do it when Destiny went home and took a shower? She wanted to. She wanted to play that victim role. She wanted to walk home and be noticed on the side of the road and have it be a big deal and use it against Destiny. Because I could, I can guarantee from then on, whenever they fought or whatever, she used that as ammunition against Destiny. It's like, oh, oh, well, you left me at Walmart. I had to walk home. <laughs> so. I'm not going to address a reaction channel Again, this is also something I talked about in therapy today. My therapy very much consisted of me talking about YouTube today. And I hate that because I don't want to go into therapy talking about YouTube. I need to talk about more and I need to take advantage of my therapy sessions. But I have been very bothered with people thinking that they have proof that I was not molested. That is disgusting. Um, my therapist today told me, that when you go through why does she not want to go into therapy talking about youtube youtube is the biggest component of her life it's everything for her i mean it's her social life it's her job it's well, i mean what does she want to go into therapy to talk about i mean just things that have happened many many years ago I think that you should be talking about your current lifestyle. Just my opinion. She doesn't want to talk about YouTube. Because, I mean, in my opinion, and I'm not going to go into the whole diatribe of it, but in my opinion, I think that being a creator on this platform for Amber Lynn has contributed to the reason why she is the way that she is. So the fact that you just don't want to talk about it at all. I mean, I could understand not getting into like talking with reaction channels and what people say about you online or whatever, but just the, the influence that YouTube has on you though. She doesn't want to talk about YouTube and therapy. That's a little strange to me. Through trauma, especially when you disassociate or in the moment you have so much anxiety over situations that you lose certain memories and certain details. And that is something that we talked about. And um, um, she has said that a million times already in other videos about the whole like, when you go through trauma, when you experience something that you really can't mentally process everything, sometimes your mind just blocks it out. I mean, she just said it again, but she used a different word. I mean, when you disassociate, sometimes you don't remember specific details. Okay. And then, I mean, she started off that sentence with, I'm not going to be addressing this, and then talked about it. So, I mean, are you going to talk about it or are you not going to talk about it? No, I did not change my story. Like, 
Thanks for talking about it. Uh, this is a maxi dress. I'm not wearing pants, no. Do I feel bad for Dana? Yes. Tato, I definitely agree with that. Oh, thank you, Bella. I just wore pants yesterday. So when I say that my dad's friends sexually like assaulted me, I mean that in the sense of like sexually harassed me. And I have shared that several times that there are people that my dad would buy drugs from and would be in and out of the trailer that it's not assault. Thank you for clearing that. Up. That is a completely different situation compared to when I was molested when I was a child. That is a completely different story. And people are confusing the two. Okay, so semantics. And this this gets brought up again, actually. It's not this one. It's the one from yesterday or two days ago now. Where the one that's called, uh, we need to talk even more or like, let's continue the conversation, whatever that one is. She comes on here and she, she talks about my live stream from... Tuesday, the four hour one, where y'all remember when we were in here and we were talking about the definition of assault in a court of law, when I was talking about the differences between assault and battery and what someone perceives as a threat and what they perceive as assault and like the legal definition of it at everything. It's not this live stream, it's the next one. So we'll talk about it in the next live stream, everything, but like, she <laughs> She like, she like quotes me or something. I've only seen bits and pieces. I haven't watched the live stream yet. I haven't seen this one at all either. But um, I don't know. She like uses me as like a reference or something and then uses that against Mr. Snowflake or something. I don't know. We'll get into it next video. But like, <laughs> just know that that's on the horizon. <laughs> when will my next upload be? Um, I'm not sure. Vince, I would honestly love to stop talking about it. Um, I wasn't even the one who brought it to anyone's attention on YouTube. I might have talked about it years and years ago, but as for right now, it's not something that I was talking about on my YouTube. And it's a reaction channel who decided to go to things that I used to say a decade ago or eight years ago. And it's really fucking weird and it's really creepy. Um, why did I use the mattress? Because I was bleeding so much and I did not want to sit on their furniture. So I would sit on a mattress and not put towels down. I like your makeup. Thank you. Um, has Destiny reached out to me? Yes, she's freaking weird. I don't... Oh, I don't understand what her motive is, but like yesterday she sent me a picture of me and her and her mom on the beach... Wait, what was it exactly? Let me go look. Um, where is it? Me and it says fuck cancer. Like what are you doing? Watch, I'll even show you guys. I just don't want to show her number because her number is not saved on my phone and I'm not here to dox. <laughs> um, let me just take a screenshot of it. Oh, when did we pick that up? We don't want to dox. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Oh my gosh. So when she when was this? I want to say that this was December of 2021. When Do y'all remember when she struck Apathetic Facts and Apathetic Facts was uh, demonetized for like a good four months and everything? So when you copyright strike someone on YouTube, when say, okay, so say Amber Lynn sent me a copyright strike. I, if I decided to do so and appealed it, I would have to give my full legal name. So what happened, <laughs> it's really not funny, but <laughs> as I laugh, what happened was Amber Lynn copyright struck apathetic, fa <laughs> apathetic facts. And then just by coincidence, just by magic, after apathetic facts appealed it and provided their name and everything, apathetic facts got doxxed. <laughs> <laughs> but like Amber Lynn tried to pass it off as a coincidence. It was like, I didn't do that. <laughs> it was 
because like apathetic facts is someone that doesn't show their face and doesn't use their voice but you know just just by coincidence right after they appeal to copyright strike their information go- <laughs> like i wonder who that could have been <laughs> Not here to dox anybody new. That's what she sent me. And I said, why are you sending me this? Like, it's weird. And I don't really know what her motives are. And my favorite of it all is, I Dana even said, like, she's totes fine with me talking about this. Like, it's so funny. Destiny is literally messaging Dana behind her current fiance's back and denying it on live stream in front of her fiance, but yet Dana sent me screenshots, which no, I will not show those, but. I- show them, uh-uh, show them. Because Destiny said that she isn't. Destiny said that they haven't talked to each other since January because uh, something happened back in January where Dana got quote unquote butt hurt and they don't really talk anymore. So, I mean, what is it? If there's screenshots, you need to show them. Because it, I, don't, I, I just don't buy it. I mean, you're coming on here saying that you have receipts, but you're not going to show them. What is the difference between coming on here and saying that that is going on and then providing proof? Like, oh, I, I'm going to bring the allegation to the table and I have the proof. You just can't see it. <laughs> like, what? I'm like, what? Is and, and, and then if you got consent from Dana, what's the big deal? like what is actually happening like i don't know like i just feel like youtube right now is so heavy like it's so heavy and that's why i want to do these live streams to just get everything out because it's just a lot i'm not going to show the screenshot because she told me not to but she said i could talk about it does that make sense to anybody I give you permission to talk about this on live stream. Just don't show the proof. D- d- does anyone follow that line of logic at all? Can I do a post? I mean, that that may I mean, not showing the proof makes Dana and Amber Lynn look worse. I mean, what are they gaining by not showing the screenshot? Office opening. Yes, I can. Um, hold on. And on top of that, what is the nature of the message? Is it, hey, how are you doing? Is it, hey, I miss us? Is it, hey, how are your nieces and nephews doing? I haven't heard from them since last year. How does their school year going? What are they talking about? Not going to show it though. I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something. Okay. I am busy blocking. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, why didn't you go see a gyno for the bleeding? Okay, so this is something I also um, would love to clarify. I actually went to doctors and I went to the ER a couple of times. I went to both. And every single time I was told that it was just a UTI nothing to worry about. And I have actually vlogged these things. So there is physical proof that I did do these things. And every single time I was just left with a UTI. Um, but yet I showed a lot of signs of cancer, a lot of signs, uh, my white cell count. Yeah. This is like, I mean, we've heard this before. This is nothing new. She said that she went to the doctors, the ER, whatever. And every time that she tried to get it checked out, they just told her UTI, UTI, UTI. And we saw this I think it was this year, right? Where the the whole collapsed lung thing and everything, and she went in and they got it wrong. I mean, really, really, every time that Amber Lynn goes into the hospital, these doctors don't know what they're doing. I mean, she must go see a bunch of quacks wherever she goes because they don't know how to diagnose or treat her pro- properly, according to her. So anytime that Amber Lynn goes in, never works out. What I want to know is why on the Instagram Q&A, if this is your current story, 
If you're going to assign blame to all the doctors, they didn't know what they were talking about. They just kept telling you UTI and everything. What was with the response that she gave on the Instagram Q&A that one time about Becky didn't really care. Becky didn't take me. Becky didn't take initiative and everything. I mean, really, girl, I mean, why not apologize for that? Really? I mean, Becky has been thrown under the bus so many times. I mean, she's just raised to the ground at this point. You know that children's book, Flat Stanley, Flat Becky? I mean, really? It was super high and um, just a lot of different things like that. So as for not going to the gyno, that is 100% my fault. I was freaking terrified. Um, but then also being told, you know, everything's fine. It's just UTI. I take something. So you were terrified. Mm. And where have we seen health anxiety throughout this show? Everywhere. Health anxiety is always present in the Amberverse seasons one through seasons five. So I was afraid to go to the gyno. But a second ago, it was, well, they just kept telling me UTI. And then, really, I I want her to get WLS. I do. I want to make that clear. But do I think that she's going to go through with it? And I, I don't. I don't. I don't. And why? Health anxiety. Health anxiety. Antibiotics. Um, you know. So I like to believe the professionals, you know. Um, so yeah, but there was a few times, like there was a doctor that I had that actually, um, my roommate saw, like we all had the same doctor and we all really, really liked this doctor. And I believed her when she said, it's nothing to worry about. You just have a really bad UTI. And um, I don't know. Exactly. Someone just said, do UTIs make you bleed that bad? They told me they did. <laughs> um, when I was diagnosed with cancer, I actually, I felt so alone. <sighs> the blame, the responsibility, the other side of the story is always assigned to a party that we will never hear from. So Amber Lynn is sitting here in her apartment saying, we all went and saw this same doctor. And she told me this, and I believed her. So I just kind of went with that. Very vague story. So, I mean, she's assigning all of the blame on the doctor. Someone we'll never hear from. Where have we seen this before? Gracie. Oh, Jessica was the one that came in. She was up up all these crazy hours of the night. She was the one that let Gracie out and everything. And then we never get to hear Jessica's side of the story. Kind of the same thing here. Are we ever going to hear about what this doctor has to say about the clarification of what went on at the time of Amber Lynn? No. So Amber Lynn can really just place all of this on any random side character scapegoat she wants to. And then we just kind of have to shut up about it because that's the end of it. We're never going to hear from this doctor. So whatever, might as well blame them. And I felt so scared. Um, so I joined this group and a lot of people who also had the exact same cancer I did. We all share the same story in we were either. And the reason why I'm like putting up a rebuttal to all this is not because I think that she lied about having it. I don't think that. I just think that all of the details are a little bit blurry. Becky got blamed, and I think a lot of it just came down to Amber Lynn being lazy. And, girl, if you just admit that, I mean, people, w I feel like people would understand if you came on here and said, guys, I did not take care of myself as much as I should have. It was my health at the time. I shouldn't have put that on Becky. It's my own responsibility. I was an adult at that point. I should have been the one, you know. And then if you would have talked about the health anxiety, listen, I was terrified. I didn't want to go to the doctor because I didn't want to get answers because those answers would terrify me. I think people would understand that. Why do we have to do all the gymnastics on this program of the lying? It's it's lying just to lie. And I don't get it because I feel like the audience would be sympathetic toward the truth. They're A, too blind or too ashamed or too scared. Um, we were just like riddled with fear. So it stopped us from going to the gyno. We, so many people who have had um, uterine cancer all experience the same thing. I mean, it seems like that. And yeah.
it just it, it confuses me. Like the health anxiety, but then you said, oh, well, I was just told by the physician that it was a UTI. So why are we having this conversation at all about, oh, you know, people don't go to the doctor because they don't want to get the answers because then the answers will terrify them. Do you ever go back and rewatch your old videos? Yes, I do. Look, stop blaming the doctors in the chat and everything. It, it, it's, it's always someone else. It's, it's somebody else's fault. And, and usually that person, when it's their fault and everything, we will never hear their side of the story. It works out for her very well. I'm not saying it's the doctor's fault. No, I'm not. I'm just sharing my story and what happened. And that's what happened. I love you too, Ashley. Well, then whose fault is it? If it's not your fault and it's not the doctor's fault. Oh, I'm so stupid. It's Becky's fault. <laughs> uh, yes, me and Feline do like Crocs. Thank you, Vert. That means a lot to me. Um, <clears throat> yes, of course I heard about Dana. She's one of my really good friends. Vlogmas. I've thought about Vlogmas. I always start thinking about Vlogmas around summertime. I know it's not summer yet, but it's fix and be. Um, I don't think I'm going to do Vlogmas this year. I've thought about it and I think I'm like leaning towards a no for me. Probably because she realized how much work and effort it was for her this past December. Probably. I mean, having a 20 minute video, I mean, we, we, other than these live streams, I mean, really, when is the last time she uploaded? I can't even remember off the top of my head. So for Amber Lynn to come on a whole month of December and vlog every single day, have 15 to 20, 20 plus minutes of content to put up every day when girl over here is having trouble uploading twice a week as it is. I just think it comes down to a, an effort thing. Doesn't want to put in the effort. Yes, I would visit North Korea. Do I enjoy gardening? Um, I think I'm at like a plant whisperer type moment. Like Feline has a <laughs> Feline has a massive green thumb. But the other day I was just feeling something. I was like, I think these plants are thirsty. And Feline's like, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. And I was like, no, truly, I feel like it. So as she started watering the Well, Amber Lynn's intuition is best. So if she thinks that that plant needs water, that plant should get water. Plants. Thanks. She's like, babe. I think you were right. <laughs> You're so dramatic. It was a good time though. It made me feel good. I was like, oh my God, I'm a plant whisperer. Um, I have to do Vlogmas my Christmas or I have to do Vlogmas. My Christmas would be way worse without it. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I love me a Vlogmas moment, but I don't know. I don't know. I need to put mental health first, always. Um, can you say hi to my dog, Petey? He is a Bashan. Am I pronouncing that right? I'll Girl, it's effort. It is so effort related to why she wouldn't want to do Vlogmas. It's clear as day. And this is another another instance of where if you just told your audience, hey guys, listen, Vlogmas, while it is a lot of fun, it's a lot of work and I just don't feel like I'm up for it. I feel like your audience would respect that and understand a lot more than if you come on here and like, oh, Vlogmas isn't really the vibe this year. Oh, I'm not really in the holiday spirit. Like just, just like weird little things. Like girl, just say it. We know the answer, but like, that's the thing. I feel like she thinks that the audience is so stupid that she can tell little lies like this and it'll go past us. <laughs> also, do you have food aggression? That is just a rumor, Melissa. Um, love you too. And hello, Petey the dog. Hello, hello. Why are people talking you know, about- he is adorb. North adorb. Why are people talking about North Korea in the chat? I mean, I swear, this whole chat is just snowflake emojis and people talking about North Korea. <laughs> Hi, Matt and Addie. Hello, hello. And thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it so much. I'm willing to address anything. Literally anything. That involves me. Not like other people. 
Like I'm not, I'm not here to spill tea or anything like that. That's not why I'm here. That's not the type of person I am. Oh my God, play back the clip. I have screenshots of what Dana told me, but I'm not going to show them. And then we cut to, guys, I'm not here to spill tea. Um, no, this isn't like a live era. I think just for right now, because I just feel like I can't peacefully make vlogs or like YouTube videos, um, knowing that there's just so many things that people are getting wrong or like assuming. And it's just, it's been hard. Um, do I have a third person living with me? No, just me and Feline. This is moving so fast that it's like I can only um, see like one question here and there. Did my therapist tell me to stop doing YouTube? No. You are big. No, of course not. Because if Amber Lynn stopped doing YouTube, there would be a lack of income and then she couldn't pay the therapist's copay. <laughs> I don't think any therapist would tell anyone you should quit your job. Big. Correct. <laughs> um. Oh my God, it's moving so fast and I have it on slow mode. Is there a way I can make it? Easier? Man, who knows, honestly, with this therapist? I mean, this is the same therapist that told Amber Lynn to come on live stream and fight Destiny back. <laughs> Goral, you need to pick up your sword and shield and go after her. <laughs> who knows? Guess who's been in touch with me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is this the real him? <laughs> Even slower. Um, do I still have my stream queen cup? I do. I do. I do, I do. Are you really truly think you are being honest with your therapist? Yes. To the point of where sometimes it's like, it's hard, like, especially today, like, I opened up about something today that, like, normally I would just, like, leave in the back of my mind, wouldn't even be honest with myself type thing, and I'm I'm very, very honest in my therapy. I'm here to take advantage. I pay over $200 per session, so I'm not going to sit here and not take advantage of it because it's been a freaking pricey as hell, um, and, yeah, it, it actually feels good. It feels uh, nice. <laughs> you never so what? Like she has... 12 required sessions that she has to do for WLS. So they're making her pay $2,400 out of pocket to complete this prerequisite. Okay. And then she says that she's going to continue it afterwards. Said anything bad about Destiny's mom, even though she disrespected you majorly, that shows how compassionate and understanding you are. Thank you, James. Um, that's because I really, really love her mom. Through it all. <laughs> through it all. And it got uh, kind of hectic, let me tell you. It got abusive, whatever it may be. And this is also something else I kind of wanted to talk about. Um, when people assumed that I hit Destiny's mom, which I didn't. So uh, thank you, Destiny, for clarifying that. Thank you for being honest. Um, people were like crazy attacking me. Like, oh my God, I cannot believe that you'd be abusive and you'd hit somebody. Da -da 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 -da. Then when Destiny came back to clarify, Amberlynn didn't hit my mom. My mom beat up Amberlynn. All the same people are now, oh, Amberlynn deserved it. It's just like, I think that like that very situation has made me realize like more than ever i haven't seen that in the comments and everything i mean i'd imagine that that is being said but i look at i look at the majority the majority i look at what the majority says most of the people agree that physical intervention like that is wrong which i agree with as well so for her to group all those people together, the same people that were saying, oh my God, I can't believe you put hands on Destiny's mom. Those are the same people that are saying you deserved it. Mm. Where people's hearts are, like 100%. For anyone to like validate abuse, yikes on bikes. <laughs> um, it's not okay. And thankfully, so thank you again, Destiny. Um, she, her last live stream that she did right after I did one obsessed much, obsessed much. Um, she did clarify that I have not lied about anything regarding her mom. So thanks destiny again. Um, justice, it's okay. They can be cruel. Like, honestly, they can. Um, but it's just funny because like me and destiny said pretty much the same exact story word for word when it came to her mom hitting me. Um, and everyone believed destiny, <laughs> but then for me, everyone's like, you're a liar. 
and there has there has been people who are like i might not like amber lynn but you guys are like being biased it's literally for the lack of a better words like it's just biased um destiny is a known cheater and liar and people are just choosing to believe her because it's more fun it's more entertainment and see destiny is branded like a cow you know those hot iron steaks that they put on cows to brand them? Amber Lynn does that, except the brand on it has cheater, and she's done it to Destiny's forehead. So any story, anything that Destiny has to say in this tell-all series now, she just points her little finger at Destiny and says, look at her face, and you read cheater across the forehead. I mean, girl, people could have done that to you with a whole lot of things that have happened over the years. Oh, I used to be like the way that I would handle this situation in the past would be very different than I'm handling it now. That's all I can say. Um, in the past, I would very much be like, well, here's some screenshots. Well, here's some tea. Here's some of this. Here's some of that. And I'm not that person no more. And that just shows strength. It shows change. It shows that I've learned from my mistakes and it shows growth. And the reason why I continue to. Now, no. Oh, this shows strength and growth. Girl, you're still coming on here and fighting destiny on YouTube live stream. This is growth. This is strength. But not showing the receipts. That's the part that makes her the bigger person. What? This doesn't make sense at all. I mean, what would show growth and strength is if you didn't entertain this at all. Like, like you said you would because you reneged on that. Because on Instagram Q&A, you said, I'm not going to do this. I'm not fighting with her. I'm not engaging with her. I'm not, I'm not getting on live stream. I'm not addressing it. I'm not what, and look what we're done three live streams later. But because you won't show screenshots or receipts, that's what makes you mature. Not following. Stand up for myself and share my story is because it's empowering. And that's actually the word that my therapist used today is that me doing these live streams is because it makes me feel empowered because I am so tired of people putting words in my mouth. I would rather um, use my mouth to use the right words, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah. Like if this was just about money, this would have already happened. Um, I'm only on here because Destiny started this. So if this was about money or I wanted to manipulate the audience or whatever it may be, or I wanted drama on my, on my channel, this would have already happened. It would have happened years oh, ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Amber, Amber, Amber Lynn is coming on YouTube live stream for the sole purpose of setting the record straight. She is not on here so that ads can run and super chats can be received. That is not the real reason. <laughs> Again, girl, who do you think you're fooling? And I think people would respect you a lot more if you just owned up to it. If you just owned up to it and said, you know what? This is a job. I'm glad that you all are enjoying the drama and everything. Just, I don't know. I, I, I just can't believe that even still now we're, we're just talking around that point. Oh, um, but... I'm only doing this because I feel like put up against a wall kind of a little bit. Um, so it's like the fact that this is also my job having to defend myself. It's rough. It's crazy. It's a weird situation to be in. Um, so, yeah. And I don't feel bad for you because you are welcome and free to not monetize this engage with this, do this, fight with these people, mud wrestle, put people in arm bars, get put in arm bars and headlocks. You don't have to do any of this, but you're choosing to, and you're choosing to receive that check. What are you even saying? I think that if you actually listen to me, then you would know what I'm saying. But I feel like a lot of people don't listen. They don't hear me. And Oh, girl, I listen. <laughs> Most of the time when I listen to you explain something, I have more questions. <laughs> they don't want to. <laughs> Stop dodging questions. I'm not really getting any. Um, oh, thank you, Caitlin. That means a world to me, honestly. Truly. No, I have never hit any of my exes. My stance on baked beans, not a fan, not a fan. 
Uh, do I still want to go to California? Yes, I was raised there. I miss it a lot. Yes, my goal is still to get weight loss surgery this year. Um, did I sit on one of my exes? What? <laughs> I sit on Feline. <laughs> oh, geez Louise. Your stay. Oh, I don't. This is like this is so funny. Your stance on North Korean politics. <laughs> like, what? Hannah yeah, for the super chat. Uh, no, I swear to God, I sit on her and she likes it. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I hate it. Like, I don't hate it. I hated it in the beginning because I am a self-conscious bitch. Um, but y'all, there are people out there who do not give a fuck if you're fat. They don't give a fuck. They see beyond that. And she's one of them. And I'm very fucking grateful. Um, can I introduce you to the caterpillars? I'm said stop. Why three F's in that one little sentence? I noticed that with the last live stream too. Everything was F F F F F F F F F. Was Amber Lynn always this potty mouth? I don't think that she was during the live stream era. Yes, I can. It's Mary Kate Nashley. Nice to meet you. Oh, some of y'all are funny. Um, do I have an OF? No, I do not. I personally like my makeup today. Um, I think my makeup looks really, really good. I love my Telfar earrings um, that Feline got me. Thank you, baby. And yeah, no one can make me feel bad about my makeup because I like it. See, that's something that you, that I'm growing and I'm learning is that People can say whatever the fuck they want, but if you like something and you feel good, then feel good and ignore everyone else. Have I put hearts in a jar? I don't know what that means. Well, this is moving so fast. I don't know what scat is. Never heard of it. Bullet journal is in the office. I'm currently in the living room. Yes, I do have a Telfar bag, which is also from Feline. <laughs> wow, I sound spoiled. I, I, I'm i actually shocked that I have it on 1.75 and I still feel that it's too slow. I mean, normally I'll do these on 1.25. 1.75 still feels slow. A little spoiled. Oh my gosh, that's actually gold. Um, how would I spend a million dollars? I would give a lot of it away, I feel like. Like my first thought was giving it to people who need it. I mean, I would keep some, obviously, but that's the first thought that I had. I've already made a million dollars in my lifetime. I know it don't look like it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, never go unmedicated if you're bipolar because I wasted a lot of money. A lot of money. Someone said, girl, give me some. I have given subscribers money. I've helped before I have. Um, yeah, I have wasted a lot of money on food. I have. Becky has entered the chat room. Would I collab with Nick Ocado? No, I would not. He uh, makes a mockery out of domestic abuse like, and gets away with it. It's disgusting. And he's also the one who said I lied about cancer. Disgusting. So no, I would not. Did he explicitly say that? Did he allude to it? Is she... she he's making a mockery out of is she talking about when he like fights with the boyfriend um when they like do the mukbangs together when they like throw things at each other and like hit each other i haven't seen a lot of nick Akato. i think that's what she's talking about though i don't know what do you what do you all think about that do you think that nick Akato does that do you think that that's a fair point that she just said oh thank you angel may you're so sweet how old are your pets? So cute. We have two chihuahuas too. Love them. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, chihuahuas are freaking adorable and they're so loving. Um, how old are they? Oh my gosh. Okay. Twinkies gonna be eleven. Rarity and Wasabi are like, I would say like a year um difference. Um, math, Amberlyn. Wasabi is gonna be eight. Rarity is gonna be seven. Math. Oh, you like my shirt? Thank you. It's a dress. Now that you say the binge monster didn't exist, how do you explain being mean to Beck when she didn't want to get you food? Um, I talked about this in my last live stream. Food addiction. 
Uh, what president would you want to meet? Obama. Now that you say the binge monster didn't exist, how do you explain being mean? How do you explain being mean to Becky? How, how are you justifying the way that you treated Becky when she didn't want to go out and get you food? So what is Amber Lynn's rationale or justification as to why she treated Becky poorly when Becky told her that she didn't want to go out and get her takeout? Amber Lynn's response, food addiction. That, that, that was the fault there. It, it was that. Flames over there making hand movements. Um, the door frames aren't broken. <sighs> They're next for a reason, am I right? Um, oh, sometimes there's a lull, and then all of a sudden it's like that. My love language is literally all of them. Literally all of them. Love Bomlin. No, I just love hard. I love so hard. Ugh. I'm sorry if I didn't read your super chat. Thank you, Megan, for the super chat. Read a poem or a recent journal entry. Oh, I don't know about that. That's too personal. See, that's something in the past that I would have done. I have changed and I am improving, showing growth. Yes, I am. What, making your YouTube channel as boring as possible? Why? How is not reading a poem showing growth? What? Why no blush today? I wasn't feeling her. I noticed that when I wear blush, it makes my under eyes look even darker when they already are pretty dark because my mascara likes to make them dark. So I just noticed it makes it look darker. So sometimes I'll wear blush and sometimes I won't. Yeah, insomnia can definitely cause that as well. Yeah. Do I still drink coffee? No, I am a caffeine-free type of gal. Do I like pickles? I do, I do. Shower pooping never happened. Just another rumor. Do I still talk to pink sparkles? Yes, like almost every day. Um... Can I bring back my intro music? Maybe. Um, I just like don't like it. I didn't hear the shower poop rumor. I did hear the fire department rumor. Season three at Eric and Ricky's. I did hear the fire department rumor from Annie Doran. Shower poop rumor though. Haven't heard this. It's so funny when people say ALR doing live streams because she wants money. So annoying. That's like someone going to work, like going to be a waitress or someone writing a book or someone, whatever they may do, starting OnlyFans. It's because people need money to survive. Things that should be free, like a roof over your head and water and food are not free things. So yeah. Oh girl, I don't care. I mean, you know, go live and make as much money as you want and everything. It's just don't come on here and say, well, you know, I'm on here to set the record straight. That's the 100% reason why I'm doing. No, it isn't. Yes. Um, this is my job and rent is not due. I already paid rent. Um, so yeah, I, I don't get it. It's like the weirdest thing to me. Um, getting heat for making money. Well, it's so weird. I don't know. I, I can't for something. I can't, I can't, pro I can't process it. Like this has been my job, like strictly did my job for eight years now. Um, that's that. That's, this is how I make money. Some people only have to write one book. It goes famous and they're done for the rest of their life. It goes famous. You know what I mean? But yeah, you know, 2023, fixing to be 2024 before we know it. And, um, not to bring up reaction channels, but Zachary Michael's a really good example. Like he went to college for what he was doing for his career and he ended up quitting his career to react to me. Talk about weird. I feel like that's weird. I don't know. Like, that's just an opinion. Everyone can have it. Everyone can have one. Um, like, that's weird. Like, going to college, like, you're literally actively in a career, and then you quit to react to Amberlynn Reed, a very boring YouTuber. Like, that's weird. That's a little weird. And everyone's all loves it because he reacts to me. It's just more- Girl, I really do not think that you are in the position to critique or provide an opinion on the nature of someone else's career. When the nature of your career is the most bizarre thing that most people would ever come across. Like the hypocrisy, hypo hypocrisy, ma'am. It's just people being hypocrites. And it's like, a lot of people agree that's weird. Thank you. I agree. It is weird. But I mean, make your money. I, I, based on how, how much I make and how much I made in the past, I pretty much know for the most part how much this, how much he makes. And it's a lot. He makes a lot of money. So I get why he quit his job. Why you come for me? And I put in more work. No team no shape. Work. I film my life. I talk about my true innards. Yeah, I think that is a quote, please. Like my last uh, vlog or my last lecturing people uh, love a quote. I said she left me like a raisin <laughs> because it's true. She did. She left me like a raisin. Wait, she didn't. She just said that she puts in more effort than Zachary Michael. <laughs> no.
No. Um, the easiest way for me to make money is to react to videos. I've, I've reacted to mm, five, six videos in the last decade. That's just easy. Um, to vlog as often as I do and to talk about the things that I do. Zach, try it, honey. Try it. Um, <sighs> yeah. Oh, I do edit. I edit a lot. Like all those little jump cuts. Yeah, it takes a lot of work. Like Feline has stood over me and watched me edit before. No, I'm not creepy, baby. But I'm just saying, like, because of like people being so biased and like Zach only reacting to me and like maybe like one or two other people, like people are okay with that because of the things that he says about me. Like, oh, it's so weird. Oh, definitely not jealous. Um, he only gets views because of me. Because of oh, I'm not jealous, but he only gets views because of me. I'm his boss. Oh my god. She's so pressed. She's so mad. And you know in the back of her mind, she still has that archaic way of thinking. He's stealing my views. If he didn't exist, if he didn't talk about me, all of those people would come and watch my channel. Girl, if there was not a community surrounding the Amberverse and reaction channels and the reddits and the kiwis and all that other stuff you want to talk about views <laughs> i mean just knowing how this all works and everything really in terms of coming for reaction channels like that uh, not, not not what you want to do other people is that condescending sure um it makes me feel like it's so weird that people care about what I have to say. Like, people care about what I'm doing. Whether it's for, like, a good or a bad reason. Like, it's so weird that, like, that's my life. That people want to see it. That's something that people want to see so bad that they also watch it through other people. They, like, watch people watch me. And I'm like, that's kind of crazy. And, I mean, that is what it is. It truly is, is what it is. And this, won't be, this might be one of my narcissistic tendencies, if you will. Or, as my therapist called me out today, Loki called me out, said that um, because I didn't get the attention and the love that a child should get, that I'm probably trying to get that from strangers online. Which, you know what? <laughs> Might be right, might be true. Now let's dig a little deeper and let's figure out how like not to do that. Um, but I'm able to like- I mean, that really isn't anything that groundbreaking. I mean, I think that anyone could pick that up on Amber Lynn. I think that's exactly what happened when she started this YouTube channel many, many years ago. I think that she's someone that really didn't get a lot of social interaction growing up or attention or whatever. And then when she came online and she started to get subscribers and people commenting and everything and- the likes and the followers and whatever. It was really exciting for her because it was something that never really happened when she was a teenager and everything. I mean, do I still think that she thinks that way now? Somewhat, yeah. I commit to some truth to that for sure. Um, that could be that could be the case, but definitely not a narcissist. Just a little narcissistic tendencies that, you know, mix up with like trauma and, you know, I'm bipolar. I have, you know, massive issues, anxiety, trauma. Um, something that I recently discovered that I've been going through, which is really weird and happened in the middle of therapy today is like, which I got called out again by my therapist is I disassociate or dissociate. I don't really know much about it. Um, but I know the fucking feeling and that shit is- Oh no. We've learned a new word. I think malice has been retired. I think that we are moving on to disassociate. Scary. It happened a couple times during my last live stream that I did. And um, I try so hard to act like I'm totally fine. But thankfully, in front of my therapist, I don't have to do that. And he called me out. He was like, what just happened? So yeah, um, it's just like random little things that I'm dealing with. And now I'm rambling. And someone just told me to shut up. But yet, they're on my video listening to me. You can always click off. I'm just I'm just an open book right now. <laughs> um, so yeah. Toad's rambling. I'm waiting for your weight loss surgery. Mine was four years ago. I went from 400 to 250. My journey is rough because I have lymphedema and Hashimoto's thyroid issues. Oh my god, Ray. Uh, wait, you have vlogs in your name? Do you vlog? I need to watch you. And congrats. You did amazing. Holy crap. I have to mention this. Sorry that I bugged me, but it's the same reason I can't watch Tom Cruise movies. Okay. There is a midline shift in your face. Yes. Your front tooth is directly in the center of your face. Oh my God. Thank you for noticing. I've also noticed. Um, it's because I used to have a massive gap, age gap for years and my teeth have shifted and, um, it made that happen. Yes. I know. I know it's bad. Um, girl, we all have a sad story. Stop acting like a victim. I am a victim to some things. We all are, unfortunately. And, um, something I've also learned in therapy. Therapy is very much, um, my personality trait. <laughs> yes. Uh, we need to take it seriously. Um, I've learned that people are very unsympathetic to certain situations and it's so easy for people to say stop being a victim when they just don't give a shit about you like as an individual and it is what it is so when people say that to me i really don't give a fuck i really don't because i know what i've been through and anyone watching me um also knows what they've been through so if anyone ever tells you stop being a victim it's because more than likely you are period and i stand by that people in this chat are deranged and need oh my god that is the most first world problem entitled way of thinking that i have ever heard
if someone tells you to stop being a victim, it's probably because you are one. So what they're doing really is they're validating themselves. Oh my, she just gives me a headache sometimes. I need to look into the mirror and if people saw their mistakes online, they would be crucified too. They're any better, 100%. I agree with that lady. I do agree with if that. anyone disagrees with Amber Lynn, if anyone has an opposing point of view, you're nasty. You just don't like her. You just don't like her because she's big. That's the real reason. You're nasty. Nasty little internet troll. <laughs> that. Trauma dumping. That's my channel. <laughs> that is my channel. Uh, especially right now. Oh my God. I'm just going through a lot. And sometimes I just... I share intimate details where I shouldn't, and that's a little something I am working on. So me declining uh, to read some of my journal or a poem is a big step in the right direction. Um, but there's still is some things that I let slip out. So just know that if you're on my channel or you're watching me, especially during a live stream, trauma dumping might happen. And if y'all need a trauma dump, go for it because I'm willing to be here and I'm willing to be an ear or a shoulder to cry on. Um, so I I don't have an issue with that. I never have. I know there are some other YouTubers who do, um, but I am not the one. So if you need to feel like you're not alone, go for it. So yeah. Um. Narcs usually come from trauma. Yes, I actually agree with that wholeheartedly. Um, this whole like narcissist thing is so silly because it also is something else that like people cannot control. So let's just say I am a narcissist just for the sake of like argument about it. Um, people like almost like calling me out or like saying that as a bad thing is probably insulting to people who like do have it. And I know for me, like I used to have my username narcissistic goddess on Instagram because I was playing the role of what people like say to me. And in, in a way that is offensive and I got called out and I learned from my mistakes. So I took that off as my username. I also want to say, I have done some research about what I said. Um, regarding I prefer females. That's not what I meant to say because I've learned that female is the sex while being a woman is the gender. And I didn't know that. So it's like, people were telling me that I was getting messages and then I learned what it meant. So thank you. Like for calling me out on my shit, but doing it in like a respectful way. I did not realize the difference in that. So thank you guys so much, like wholeheartedly. Um, there just comes a time where it's like, you need to say it um, in a respectful way um, because <laughs> woke Lynn. No, I have not done Delta 8 in over a month. I miss it a lot. Um, there was a moment through like a, like a lot's happening. I had a hater contact me on Instagram and they were like, you were gone for a week and people need so much drama around your name. And that just goes to show that it's not you causing this. And I said, oh, wow. Thanks for uh, noticing. <laughs> so yeah. Um, no, Feline does not eat cornstarch and neither do I. <laughs> Someone asked if you ate cornstarch. She likes watching people eat cornstarch, which I do too, because it's so satisfying that like it makes you want to do it, but bro, not happening. Oh, it doesn't make you want to do it. Uh, yes, Wayne lives with me. It's both of us together. Together as a baby. Forever? Forever yeah. Are you proposing? Oh, <gasps> I'm just kidding. Aww. Um. How is she gonna propose, Amber Lynn? You haven't bought the ring yet. My favorite thing about Feline. Oh my god, so many. You're hardworking as shit. You're dedicated to what you work on. Supportive. <laughs> like if I ever say like, oh, I want to write a guided journal. Like you're the one who's over there like, let me do the research. I can figure it out for you. Like you got this, babe. Like you're just so supportive. Thank you. <laughs> What's wrong with her? Love. <laughs> Love. Don't no, don't be turned up. We'll, we'll save the mushy gushy for later. Uh, but yeah, she's just a, uh, she's a good one. She's a good one. I love you. I love you. Play Mario Kart on stream. <laughs> That'd be funny. It's I always win. Okay, first of all, not always. I always yeah, win. 70% of the time I'm winning. <laughs> That's not true. Oh. I can twerk. What is your chat? I don't know. I Emily, I would love me a pride moment. It's like I feel it like in my heart. And if you've never felt that. See, it's so hard like when I'm vulnerable, whether it be like I'm sad about something or I'm crying because I love somebody or I'm crying because I'm happy or I'm crying because something bad happened. Everyone always says crocodile tears. And I think that is like one of the most triggering things that people say to me and I'm be vulnerable and it's very triggering when people say that to me it is um because like I've said a million times over like I'm only coming from like a true and real good place and um yo I appreciate that and I get canceled every single day I stay canceled <laughs> like for real you can't cancel someone like Amber Lynn because I mean the allure for her is being canceled. <laughs> they want to know um, what your favorite thing about me is. Oh, I get scared, guys. My favorite thing about you. Yeah. I think it has to be just how loving you are. Like, you have um, such a good heart. Thank you. Like, even when people do you wrong, 
just so well to the good. Did you guys hear her? Favorite zodiac sign. I don't really do the zodiac moment, but I'm a Capricorn, so I'll say Capricorn. Someone just said Delta 8 is a gateway drug to meth. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nope. I love you. I stopped Delta 8 because and like I was getting like anxious. I Yep, my hair is a little dirty moment. Oh. You like my eyeliner? Thank you. I noticed my last live stream because this this is really slowed down. I mean the first the first like 30 minutes of this, she actually, you know, talked about a lot of stuff, but I, I really don't know what's going on at this point. I mean, is she just waiting for super chats to come in? I mean, what are we doing? I, I think that Destiny kind of does the same thing too. They want the audience, they want the chat room to do the work. They want the, the super chats to come in and stir up the tea so that they can get all worked up. And talk about stuff that because but like what people do is when they come into these streams they expect enter to be entertained you know they've got their ticket to the matinee they they want to see the drama the tea the flip outs the everything but in Berlin comes on here kind of expecting the chat to, so really <clears throat> it's just two different parties showing up to the show and one is expecting one thing of the other and then the other party is expecting something of the audience. <laughs> And then it doesn't really go anywhere. It's just kind of flat lines like this. Because I had the blinds open, I decided not to have them open this time. But my eyeliner looks so uneven, and I'm like, girl, it's not like my eyeliner stays even. It was just like a literal elop optical. What? what? What is that? An illusion? What's the illusion word? Elliptical? Illusion? No, elliptical. Elliptical. Wait, what? Because I think like the difference between making a video and uploading it is, I mean, that's like doing your job. That's like working right but when you're live streaming you can see it in real time with the super chat so if you realize that you're not making money in the moment like that you probably feel less inclined to deliver so why get all worked up why give the audience what they want if they're not going to be donating i'd imagine that in this stream and the stream with destiny yesterday when she made the hamburger for like 45 minutes if there were more super chats and people were sending in money her tone and her attitude would be a lot different it kind of just wouldn't be like cornstarch <laughs> yeah i know my poems not reading those shows growth yeah. So I, I think the money is a motivator. And I mean, just scrolling up this chat and everything, not really seeing it. it it's just a lot of people in here just talking. So Amber Lynn doesn't really feel like she needs to provide for this. But the super chats are really the catalyst to a better live stream, but it's just not happening. No, what's the word before the illusion word? <gasps> Optical! Oh, oh my God, I was on the That was scary. Optical! My therapist says that when this is, when this happens, to put myself back into myself and to feel my fingers. <laughs> Ooh, I'm okay, I promise. Optical. Why was elliptical? I'm like elliptical. Who elliptical? Oh, hi. So he's like, Mama, you good? You good? She knocked me out. Come here, lover bones. Knock me out. Um, I'm good. Yeah, my IQ is just it's just overwhelmed by how smart I am. She's overwhelmed. She's so smart. You just can't stand it. I'm just the smartest in the world. I'm the smartest in the world. This is my pride and joy and love forever. It's a forever. My best friend. She uh, was eating the other day and she started choking. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, she wasn't choking. She was like, did your dog ever do that thing where it's like reverse sneezing? I was so scared. I said, what wrong? So I picked her up. Like, oh. Um, My eyebrows need their own zip code. Ooh! Wait, I love a roasting challenge. I love. See, stuff like that's funny, but to call me like a fat whale who needs to die of a heart attack, like that can go. That, that can go. Hi. I know. I just love so much. It's so crazy. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, for sure. Twinkie's gonna be 11. I've had her since she was three. That is my best friend. The love that I feel for that dog is unmatched. Sorry. Sorry, Feline. I choose Twinkie. <laughs> um, but yeah. So someone just called me the Timu Queen. I wish. I wish they didn't do it. I wish they didn't do people dirty. I wish not. Oh, JT. I'm so sorry. You're gonna give your um that new dog you adopted all the loves. I know it. I know it. I learned always on fleek. Thank you. Ugh, my eyebrows, though, y'all came for me. Y'all always coming for me and shit. And then this, I what? I I would be shocked if she answers this. Shocked. 
Um, more tight camo. Hey, I'm not wearing a bra. Is that okay? okay. Her snorting is going to be a thing now. Oh my god, I noticed I did that in therapy for the first time today. I'm so embarrassed. Did you? I snorted. You never snorted for therapist? He was like, no, he didn't even notice. I don't think. <laughs> well, yeah, it did happen. Um, thank you, super edgy. Would it tickle? So she wants to say that everything that Destiny says is a lie, but code red i think that that did happen and she's just not owning up to it and then destiny also put on the table the topic of conversation about alex and jade being two different people two things that destiny brought to the conversation that amber lynn just isn't going to talk about because you know why destiny's a cheater that's why i didn't have two girlfriends because destiny's a cheater <laughs> so rip your nose ring out to rip it out? That wouldn't tickle, that would hurt. Do you like the new Miley song Flowers? I do. I do. Why are you yelling? Do like a four ninety nine super chat immediately. I mean about Miley Cyrus, something, you know, innocuous like this. Immediately, but like the dollar ninety nine from Chummy about the two different girlfriends. Oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> I'm loud. I'm loud really. Okay, so someone just said, why did you stink so bad with Destiny? So Destiny said that it was after we were together that I smelled while me and her were friends. And I tried to explain right now. I'm just gonna like try my hardest to like leave my body right now and just say this and not like not look back. So one of the signs, one of my symptoms of cancer was a wait, I'm trying to leave my body. I'm trying to because I wanted to say this last time so bad and I was having a hard time because it was just a lot. Every time I start talking about this, I don't think I've absorbed that I've had cancer. That's something else that I think I need to work on. Um so um after I had my hysterectomy, obviously I did not have cancer anymore, so I didn't have any more symptoms. And um so that was not a symptom that I experienced anymore. So people like making fun of me about that, you're literally just making fun of someone that had cancer in one of their symptoms. So yikes and bikes, um, that's on you. And I think that's the reason why I kind of just let it play out. I don't really care. Um, if you're gonna make fun of someone's riddles, you're ready. Hi, hi. So if you're gonna make fun of someone's cancer uh, symptom, that's literally on you. Um, that's actually something I talked to Eric Nurki about is because obviously everyone around me noticed. Um, it's not something that was unnoticed, obviously, but after my hysterectomy, all of that changed. And again, that is something else that was noticed and talked about. So um, am I still frozen? Can you press one if you hear me, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, wait, don't they have like, sorry, I just got really excited. Don't they have like new things on here where you can do like a poll, you can do like a question thingy. How do you do those? <laughs> Reminds me of H3. Bad poll. Bad poll. I mix them both, yeah. I guess I could have put that on there, but live streams are winning. I'm like shook right now. Shook. Okay, okay. That was fun. <laughs> um, speaking of shook, I just was in... Alex's chat not too long ago, and he said that Amber Lynn blocked him too. So I'm blocked. Zachary Michael's blocked. Alex is blocked on Instagram. We're all blocked. Uh, um, okay, let's do some super chat moments. James, thank you. Thank you. That 30 show, thank you. Um, those are the only super chats that are showing. I was going to answer them for you guys. What else can we do in here? Start oh, a Q&A. Okay. Those are the only ones that are showing. Not chummies. How? Ask me anything. LOL. I don't really know what this is, but we're gonna try it. Okay. See if you were questions. Hover over hover your mouse over any question, then click the menu to pin the question for everyone to see. <laughs> me not knowing. Oh my god, I didn't realize it was gonna be like this. Oh my god. Okay, um I'm overwhelmed. Um select question? What just happened? How's Feline doing? She's watching the earwax videos. She's watching the earwax videos. Okay, here's another question here. Um, select question. Do you eat potatoes still? <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Um, um, oh, here's some, okay. How much- Near death experience won't stop me. How much money did you make off of the merch? People are haters. So not much, <laughs> not much at all. Okay, that was fine. That was fine, thanks guys. Girl, I mean, that merch, if you don't remember this or if you're new or whatever, Amber Lynn did this like little store on her channel last year where she sold like sweatshirts and water bottles and phone cases and like a yoga mat. And some of them, it was just like a plain colored item, like one of the items I just named. And then on the item, it said the word merch on it. That's all it was. That's all it was. <laughs> but the sales didn't do well because people are haters. Yeah, that's that's it. 
I just wanted to see how that worked. Um, the Q&A is ended. Let's remove all questions. Okay. That was interesting. That was very interesting. <laughs> I'm not high. I'm not. You know. Trust that. You know. Trust that. How's the weather? Sunny. Warm. I love you too, Nikki. Only two questions. <laughs> I just wanted to see how it worked. Oh, someone just called me dumb as rocks. <laughs> if I'm insufferable, leave. That's offensive to rocks. I know, right? Oh, fucking. What is swamp A's? I have no idea what that is. No idea. This person who keeps saying swamp, I am. If anyone says swamp, you're going to be um, blocked. Thanks. <laughs> swamp A's? I don't know what that is. Two seconds later. If you say the word swamp, you're getting blocked. Like, what? <laughs> Why? Because it is making fun of a cancer symptom that I had. And I just feel like it's so, like, rude. It's so crazy. Like, how it's okay for people, like, the very people who, like, call me, like, a bad person do things that are, like, a trillion million times worse. So, people, so if you say that Amber Lynn smells, if you say that by the transitive property you're making fun of her cancer now, like forevermore now. I, I think that that is the hill that she is positioning on herself with this whole smell thing. If, if you ever say that, just know this is what you're actually making fun of Re in, in regards to every scenario. Um, it is a symptom. It is. And I'm not going to fight that. I'm not going to defend that. Um, a simple Google search can tell you that, but I lived it. I lived it. And people were wondering, um, how did you get diagnosed with cancer? So I want to explain this real quick. Um, I was bleeding for over two years. And then there were some times where I would bleed so much, the whole, like half of the toilet would get filled. And one night in particular scared the fuck out of me. And I looked at my girlfriend at the time. And I said, I need to go to the ER. And we ended up going and I ended up bleeding all over the hospital floor. I had to sit on a, um, it was like one of those like toilets that move. Uh, it was just falling out of me. Um, I had uterine lining and blood clots completely just falling out of me. I know this is very much TMI. I'm sorry. And so I got sent into an emergency DNC. Um, this was to make the bleeding not stop completely, but to stop that from happening. Um, someone said it's called a period. Actually, if you Google, you could be able you could see the photos that I'm talking about. It was not a period, honey. That was not a period. Um, so they took some uterine lining, um, the tissue, and they biopsied it. Yesterday was actually three year anniversary of me getting diagnosed with cancer. It was on the 4th of June in 2020. I got the call, which was four to five days after they biopsied my tissue. And they said, you have cancer. So how I got the grade and like the stage was when they gave me my hysterectomy, they tested. <sighs> How did this stream go from clapping back at Destiny to a lot of it being about cancer? I I didn't know that the, I I didn't watch this all the way through beforehand. I mean, I I I I really, I really really would only like to watch this once for for obvious reasons. <laughs> But, I mean, is this where we're going with things now? It, it's all going to be about that. And anything that Destiny does or says, regardless of if she has a point, it's going to be, well, you know what? She's a liar and she's a cheater. Is this is this really the defense that we're doing here, Amber? Because if so, I mean. Everything. They, my cervix, my ovaries, um, everything. And thankfully, um, I had endometrial cancer, which is uterine cancer, which is cancer in the womb, however you want to word it. Um, thankfully, it was staged kind of farther than I. And um, yeah, I feel really detached. Is it because you weighed so much? Um, that is initially how it started. Um, my whole ended up getting cancer. And the cancer was then moving into the muscle of my uterus. Um, yeah, it's fucked up. And it is because of my weight. Because your weight, whether you are too small or too big, can mess with someone's hormones, which then messes with someone. And how grateful... Did you hear that? Like, and how grateful I am to, like, be alive, you know? A little bit of survivor's guilt, if you will. Thank you, Emily, for the super chat. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's not what survivor's guilt is. Survivor's guilt, whenever I've seen that play out in scenarios, is when you're like with other people and everything and 
they all pass away, but you were the one that survived. Right? It, it, it is, it's not just surviving something that happened to you through a health condition. Or does she mean it in the sense like she did that to herself because of the weight and because she saw it through, she felt a little bit guilty because she put herself in that position. Like she feels, she feels a little bit ashamed of herself. She feels like she kind of let herself down. Is that what she kind of means by that? Cause that would make sense, but just the term as it is, that, I don't know. That, that just kind of confused me. I mean, I am like skipping around and everything. So I'm not listening to like everything that she says, but. So Ned, I am blocking you because no, I did not have precancerous cells. Um, did I go through chemo? I did not. Um, I was supposed to go through radiation, but they said due to my weight, that was probably a good idea that I didn't do it because it would have been more of a risk if I did. So again, another thing for me to blame my weight and know that it's my fault. That doesn't make sense. It made a lot of sense when they explained it to me. Uh, my favorite on Yellow Jackets is Misty. <clears throat> no, I would never do snake bites again. I don't know anything about PCOS. Do I want children? <sighs> I do, but I'm not ready, and I don't know if I ever will be. I ignored a super chat. I don't see it. Yeah, I I mean, realistically, no one is ever ready for a child, ever, ever. But there is there does come to, there is like a time and there is a line across where it's like, okay, I can have a kid. And I don't think I'll ever cross that line. And I want to be reasonable. I want to use the rational side. Where did she hear that from? No no one realistically is ever ready for a child. What? What? I know a lot of people that are ready for children. I mean, as long as you're in I mean, a, a good headspace, a good financial space, you're secured. I, 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 don't, I don't really know what she meant by that. No one is ever ready for a child. <laughs> huh? Side of my brain that I'm not there, might never be there. And that's, that's kind of hard. That's really hard. Your story is so powerful. Thank you. Where's Twinkie right there? That's my kid right there. One of three. <laughs> and I try to be the best for a mama that I can. Perfect? No. No one's fucking perfect. <laughs> Are you crying? No, I'm okay. My dream wedding is a secret. <laughs> Twinkie Lynn. <laughs> That's Twinkie Lynn back there. We also have Rarity Lynn and Wasabi Lynn. Do I ever plan on running? No. <laughs> I'm not mad. Not at all. Where is Wasabi? Probably in the bedroom, laying in front of the mirror. That is his favorite spot. I think he likes to check himself out. Play with my fupa or something. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> oh my god. Would you all hate me if I just stopped here? I mean, really, I feel like I should have stopped maybe like 40 minutes ago. Because at the beginning of this, it did, but... I mean, she made like 15 bucks that one. I mean, uh, there's so many people chatting and everything. Uh, I don't know how many super chats she made on this and everything, but it didn't look like there was that many of them. I think by this, I mean, she's kind of a little bit over it. I mean, we're almost an hour and a half in. Uh, I'll give it a little bit more. I just don't think that anything's going to happen toward the end of this. I'm probably going to get off of here. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. I do seem tearful on and off tonight. I think it's just like the topics. The topics, uh, they're deep. <laughs> they're deep. Some can be very deep. And I wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm a very, very emotional person. Got it from my mom. Got it from my mom. Damn. She is the same way. And Feline has witnessed that. When me and my mom video call each other. <sighs> yeah. She be crying. <laughs> Women be shopping. As H3 says, my mama be crying. Hi, Nadia. I get so, like, I don't know who to make a mod, like, who to trust, and I mean that in, like, the kindest part of my heart. I don't mean that, like, in a bad way at all. Most of the trolls are 13 years old. Oh, probably. God. Probably. Like, oof. The way that people are in this chat, like, 
every day I go to bed and I'm like, I'm so glad I'm not that person. I could never, could never. I already apologized to Mark Alert. Can y'all shut up? Go away. If you're not affected by literally nothing that concerns you. I mean, true, true. No, Flynn just sleeps with me. Um, yes, I am running for president 2024. I wasn't gonna tell anybody. Damn, the tea's out already. I just got done making a little commercial. This message was approved by Amber Lynn Reed. Fuck. It was like a whole thing about like seafood boil, like how everyone should get it for free. It was like this whole thing. God, <laughs> stuff doesn't matter to me. Um, I have questions. Um, let me know. Uh, can we please play Mario? Oh, so much love. Lauren, we should definitely play one day. Um, Sean, tell me if you're choking and poo incident. Who hasn't? Who fucking hasn't? Like, if Aline wasn't there, I would have died. I, I literally might I would have died. And to like come on here and like. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of this in this episode, the whole episode is um, everyone is nasty. Anyone who's ever says anything about anything is nasty. Um, I had cancer. Uh, just like this, this was a boring one. I, I, the other one, the other one had some substance to it. So I feel like there was a lot more to talk about, but this one. Ugh, I don't know. Maybe what, what's the third one? The third one's called like, we need to talk again or something. I mean, we'll do that one. I'm actually looking forward to that one because that one is only like 45 minutes long. I think, I mean, this hour and 40 minute one, I mean, this, this was rough to get through. This was really rough to get through. And I mean, oof, even on two times speed and I skipped a lot of it. I mean, yikes on bikes. So I think that we're going to call it quits here. Y'all. All right, everyone, we have made a safe and secure landing back on Mother Earth. I would now like to take a moment to thank you for making it to the end of today's long, long journey. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a thumbs up, some of your thoughts in the comments, and pin all the blame on the subscribe button. And don't allow them to tell their side of the story either. This is Jordy blasting off. I will see you next time in the Amberverse.